Today I'm meeting my blind date Thomas at the firehouse he volunteers at. I'm a little nervous, but at the same time, I am super excited to meet someone who's gone through something very similar to me, and I'm interested to see the similarities and the differences. Hi. Hi. Nice I'm to meet Shana. you. I'm Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Would you. Would you like to take a look at the station? Sure. Beautiful. Come on, right this way. When Thomas first came around the corner, I was like, oh, he's taller. I was like, oh, he's taller. That There's already a foot difference. I was like, we'll see how the similarities are there. How long have you volunteered here? Uh, I've been here for four years. July 5th will be my uh, anniversary date. So straight out of high school? Yep, That's right good. after high school. My name is Thomas and I'm 22 years old. I was born with uh, cancer called optic nerve glioma. I was put on chemo at a year old. Uh, I was on until about four and a half. And um, from it, I'm stuck at four eights. He's an asset being in the fire service. We have him go inside a car or underneath the deck. You know, some of the younger guys are big guys and you know, Tommy can get into places that they can't. Walk past uh, one of my company's trucks. Pop this open for you. Okay. Climb up in there. And uh, you're now the uh, officer of Engine 3. Oh, cool. My shortness and my pituitary dwarfism really hasn't affected my life. I was always playing sports when I was a kid. Um, I'm a volunteer firefighter. So, yeah, I kind of live life day by day. I never give up. And uh, don't let people bother me. <laughs> Um, I heard you had uh, childhood cancer. It was found between like four months and like five months old. I had to get immediate surgery. And then in kindergarten, they found out I wasn't growing. And so my growth hormones, it didn't work. And I stopped growing at 16. Same thing, I was born with it. Mm -hmm. um, I got diagnosed with uh, optic nerve glioma. I was on chemo for till I was about three and a half. They didn't really question my height till I was mm -hmm. about 15, 16, my doctors, and they found um, my growth plates in my hand were like a millimeter away from being fused again. Yeah. And they said that you may grow another half an inch. And if But there was that, no try on hormones or anything? No, um, I'm sorry. because they said it wasn't even worth the shot. It wasn't going to with it, yeah. yeah. So did the chemo leave you with like a lot of after effects? Or are you pretty healthy? I say I'm pretty healthy, but no, I... I, I still get really bad headaches, mm -hmm. which they think they don't know if it's from the chemo or what it is. I get migraines, but yeah. I have dead tissue back here. Yeah. Thomas and I did have a lot in common medically and what we go through on a daily basis. So it was nice for me to have those conversations and actually have someone that kind of understood it because no one's ever been through the same situation. So I think it was really good for both of us. Thomas is extremely different from most of my exes or the guys I've dated in the past. So I am staying open-minded to giving him a chance and seeing where it goes. So what do you do besides volunteering? I'm, uh, I work for Aspen Trees. I work on the ground, so I'm the chipper guy. I'm not technically a tree guy yet. Um, yet. Yeah, if I keep training and I get in the bucket, then I'd be classified as a tree guy. What about you? Um, well, right now I'm working on a lot of little things. I would like to get a degree in business or vet and see where that goes from there. But, you know, life takes you different paths. Now, um, you talked about veterinarian. Do you have any pets at home? Do you... Oh, yeah. Currently, I have five dogs, and um, my sister has a leopard gecko. My dogs are my life. Like, do you have any pets? I have two dogs and leopard gecko. Oh, really? Yeah. That's very, that's very honest. Yeah. As Thomas and I were getting to know each other, I do like that he puts his life on the line for other people. It's very endearing. It's very unselfish, and I love those qualities of people. My um, older sister has two dogs, and they're a terrier husky, she believes, but they're not sure. Yeah. Because you never know what kind of small dogs in there. And then the dogs I have are golden retrievers and border collie mixes, so. And they're all related. Yeah. Oh, she, she definitely is looking at me. <laughs> um, when Riley and Mark walked into the diner, I was a little bothered by it. I was like, you didn't have to sit so close. You didn't have to eavesdrop. But I don't even think Thomas noticed that that was actually them. I think it was due to his nervousness. It just. Yeah, I didn't really notice Shauna's dad and sister over my shoulder. Um, I kind of zoned everything out. This is the first time I've ever gone on a date with a uh, girl's father and sister and her all at once. Definitely was a experience. <laughs> I've had both a sibling and a father 
at a date before. She went to the movies with one of her first boyfriends, and I sat across the aisle from him taking pictures of her. Scared the, the crap movie. out of him, made him p spill the popcorn everywhere, and then he ended up crying, okay? It was, it never ends well when dad tags a lawn for Here's a Here's the thing. Anyway, I felt a little bit bad that I was doing the same thing to Shauna. Sensitive question. Did you get bullied a lot? I've been called midget. Mm -hmm. I've been called a, a wee man. That's not nice. As I said, you know. You ever I, get called a munchkin? All the time. I get called Oompa or a chubby squirrel. Mm hmm. But you know what? It, like, it's not worth it. I would just completely ignore them. I tried to let just roll off my shoulders. Hearing Thomas's views shows me a new perspective and allows me to understand a new perspective. He grew up with this mentality, just pick yourself and get up and do it. And I have a lot of social trauma. So I think he's definitely a more go-getter, less worried about what people think. And I know what people think. I know the harshness that's out there. I know how much people will try to stop me. I don't think he experiences that because he's never really been stopped, never really been made fun of for how he tries to get through life. So do you get confused for a child? Actually, not amongst adults sometimes. God, I hate you. No offense, amongst but I hate you. adults sometimes <laughs> is the key term there. <laughs> I think it's definitely a sign that Shauna's into somebody if she's really like making fun of them. I do that with everyone. Yeah, but it's like you always have like this smirk at the end when it's somebody you like. Like you're like, take it as a joke. It's playful. I don't think that's what I'm thinking, but okay. <laughs> See, kids understand I'm an adult, but they still want to color with me and they still want to know why my voice is so high. I've had kids hit on me. <laughs> yeah, I uh, never experienced that. I have been hit on by children or teenagers, and I usually deal with kids when they hit on me by just kind of like putting them down gently and then walking away. It doesn't get me in trouble with their parents. That, that's not my fault your kid's attracted to an adult. Like, I had a really good time, actually. She is a very nice girl. Um, she's very beautiful. We had a really good time talking about just everything in general. I would love to see Sean again. Well, this was fun. Yeah, it was really yeah. fun. I really hope we can have another chance to meet. Yeah, maybe. That would be <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I mean, maybe not the food part. I don't no, eat, yeah. and you didn't eat. Yeah. I did have a good time. He's a really nice person. I do think that we could have a really good friendship. I don't feel anything romantic yet, but that takes a lot of time and patience for me. He has potential.